Hello everyone, welcome to this third Python tutorial on introduction to AutoCaris. So last tutorial was pretty quick. Um, in this tutorial, I, it's also not going to last too long. Basically, I'm going to show you how you would load your data set using pandas and numpy. Um, so if you don't know what pandas and numpy are, they're basically also libraries, just like how AutoCaris is, and they're really good for data manipulation. So we're going to, in, in the last episode, Basically, what we did is we basically took the path of the file and we did directly loaded it into the AutoCaris model. Um, in this episode, we're going to first manipulate this data. And I'll tell you why you would want to manipulate your data, right? So let's look here at the train data. So in this data set, which column is not useful at all? It's the first one, right? The A column. So we would want to remove this. So you can manually do this by doing this and delete this column. But let's say you wanted these three columns. Would you, with Excel, it's not very practical to manually do everything, right? So we have libraries in Python that are specialized in removing these. Uh, they're really good for data manipulation. So I'll show you how. Um, in this tutorial, I'm not going to use Sublime Type. I'm going to actually use um, an IDE because essentially what, ca what I can do is run each line one at a time so I can better demonstrate to you guys how each line of code works in the console. So as usual, we first have to import AutoCaras as AK. Oops, so it just appeared. And yeah, so I can basically run this line by doing Option, Shift, and E. And you see down there, the line is run. Okay, so we've imported AutoCaras. And we're going to do two things. We're going to first import pandas as pd so just like autocares we import as ak we can import pandas as pd um, make sure you have pandas installed so if you don't have pandas installed same thing as last time um, you do pip install pandas and we're also going to need uh, numpy so pip install numpy that all right so just make sure you have those installed and the reason we're doing this is later on um, for our, our whatever model we're using, whether it's a, a structured data classifier or if we do a regressor, any sort of model for auto cares, we're going to we can either pass the path or we can pass in uh, a pandas data form or a numpy array. And so in what case would we want to use this? Well, for example, um, let's first load our file, right? So loaded CSV or loaded file equals pd, which is pandas, dot read. And now here's what's cool. Basically, pandas can read a bunch of files as long as they're formatted right. So with autocares, you can only read uh, CSV files directly using the path. But with pandas, you can also load HTML, you can load JSON files, uh, you can load pickle files, you can read SQL files, you can read a bunch of, a bunch of different types of files that um, AutoCares is not compatible with, but if you transform them into a pandas data frame, then AutoCares will be compatible, right? So what is a pandas data frame? Well, let's first read our file, right? So in this case, what is the directory of our file? Okay, so in this time, I'm not going to do a relative path. I'm going to just take the absolute path. So I'm going to copy the entire path and I'm going to execute this file. Well, I have to import this first. And then I'll read my CSV file. And if you look at over here, I can view this as a data frame. So we can see the same thing we saw in Excel, except this time we can see it inside our um, IDE, right? So now the cool thing is, let's say you want to get rid of the first row, right? What you can do is loaded file is equal to loaded file. And basically, we want all the rows. Sorry, there's a fly in my face. We want all the rows, right? So the way we index in pandas is we first um, tell what rows we want. So the semicolon here means we want everything in the rows. And for the columns, we want everything except the first one and the last one, right? So this is our Y. But, oh, actually, yeah, let me write this. So our X, and in this case, 
is our X train actually because this is our train. Our, oh, sorry, this should be our training file. Let's try to get lo loaded training file, right? Is equal to no typos, please. Loaded training file is that, right? And then let's first load our test data. So let's don't, let's not make mistakes this time. So loaded test file. It's the same thing except we load test, right? That should make sense. Now x train. What is x train equal to? Let x train is equal to the loaded train file, all the rows, and we want columns. This this is index zero, so we want it from one to everything except the last one, right? So how do we do that? Remember that um, if if you have experience, let's say you do one semicolon five. The one here is inclusive, the five here is ex exclusive, right? So that means if I do one till minus one, it means I take column from here because the index starts at zero. So column one until column minus one exclusive. Minus one is the last column. Okay, so this, if, oh, I mistyped training. Okay, so x train is loaded training file, all the rows, columns one to minus one exclusive. So let's try that. Um, oh, I have to specify I lock. That that will tell tell you index lock. Okay. So now, if we look at X train over here, you can view it as a data frame, and you can see how it doesn't have the roll number anymore, and it doesn't have this exited anymore. Okay. So that's what we want. And Y train is the opposite, right? So right chain is the same thing, loaded training file that I lock. We want all the rows again, but we only want the last row, right? So let's run this and let's see. We can view it as a data frame and there we go. So these are, there's 9,000 of them or well, 8,999 of them. And each of them each row basically represents a customer, right? So that's exactly what we want. And for X test and Y test, we want the same thing, except we're going to load it from our testing file. So loaded test file, right? And let's just execute this. Awesome. Okay. I uh, did I execute this. That's why. Okay. So load this. Yes, should be perfect. All right, so now X test, Y test are pandas data frame. X train, Y train are also pandas data frame. That's perfect. That's what we need. So now we can do what we usually do with auto cares, as I, as I have shown you last in the last episode. So um, let's build a classifier again. You should know this by heart. <laughs> so AK dot, what is it? Structured data classifier, exactly. Structured data classifier. And this time I'm not going to specify max trials because I'm not going to essentially I'm going to start training it, but I won't, I'll just stop it um, just to show you guys, but I won't make it finish. So it's a structured data classifier. And now when we want to fit, uh, so classifier dot fit, we fit our X and we fit our Y, right? So we fit our X train and we fit our Y train. And now, so let's run this line. And now if we run this line, it's going to start fitting. So it works the same way as the way it went, ran last episode, except this time for your X, you pass in a data frame, a pandas data frame, and your Y, you also pass in a pandas data frame, right? So it's slightly different, um, but it works, it works the same way. And last time when we wanted to evaluate afterwards, print classifier.evaluate, and X test comma Y test, right? So last time we used the paths and basically for your X, you just write the path and the Y, you write the column name of your the Y that you want. So you can see here with the, the, the advantage of, of loading it first with pandas is that you can get rid of certain columns. Let's say you only wanted columns um, 0, 1, 2, so 2, 3, 4, right? Over here, you can just write 2 until 4 or two until five exclusive, which gives two to four. So that's how you would do it. Um, but let's go back to the original one, 
right? And that's pretty much it for um, pandas. Now, when you want to work with NumPy, NumPy is extremely similar to, um, well, it's, it's a form of, it's also very good for data manipulation if like you guys are familiar with matrices. I'm gonna stop this because my computer's getting very loud, right? But you guys see that it works the same way. Um, pan with NumPy, it's the same thing. Actually with pandas, it's, you can transform these panda data frame into NumPy um, arrays just by calling dot values, right? So if we reopen a new console and we, we just give it a sec. If we reload this, and let's try reloading X train and Y train. What you're gonna see over here for the special variables is that X train and Y train are no longer pandas data frame, they're simply num ND arrays, which are NumPy arrays, All right? And you can see the difference here is that we don't, we no longer have these uh, column titles, right? We just have like a bunch of numbers like that are a bunch of numbers without column titles or, or row, uh, yeah, column titles, essentially, All right? And if, if you still, if you want, it, it works the same way because AutoCares works, also works with NumPy arrays. So if we rerun this code, it still works, All right? And basically it's gonna do the exact same thing. I just wanted to show you guys because in the future, if you ever work with NumPy arrays, um, this can be this can be very useful for you guys um, and evaluating will be the same thing all right it's a pretty quick tutorial um, in the next one actually I want to cover a few more things um, in the next few tutorials we're gonna go over how to work with images right because AutoCares also supports images I showed you guys um, how to use the default data set for image classification but I don't think that does justice because in the real world it's much harder with like real images, because you have to convert them from PNG uh, or JPEG format to a NumPy array, and then you can fit it into your classifier or your regressor. So I'll show you that soon. And another thing is exporting your model, because once your model is trained and you close this thing, your model is just going to be gone. So hours and hours of training gone. So I'm going to show you how you can export and load your models. That's going to be in the next episode. All right. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, leave me some comments on what you want to see next. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.